we've been waiting for this one for a long time. The visiting squad, the Wilsonville Wildcats, ranked number one in the 5A coaches poll, winners of 13 straight games. At home, the LaSalle Falcons, ranked second by the coaches. They've won 10 of their last 11. The only loss in that stretch, at Wilsonville. The top two 5A teams going head to head. What's good everyone? My name is Orlando Sanchez and this is Friday Night Hoops. Let's go. Always a good crowd at LaSalle and the home team takes control early. Lindsey Drango making the defense pay from distance. LaSalle took a double digit lead. Third period and here comes Wilsonville. Amelia Bishop ignites the comeback. Wildcats storm all the way back. Renee Lee, you are up, no hesitation. Wilsonville takes the lead. They were up by double digits. But LaSalle didn't panic. Here comes Drango again. What a game. LaSalle rallies in the fourth quarter to take it. Final count, 65-55. They split the season series. Let's hope they can run it back one more time in the playoffs because this was awesome. In the Mount Hood Conference, Clackamas and Central Catholic both chasing Barlow for the league title. The two teams meeting in Southeast Portland. And these teams were evenly matched, even on defense. And I'd like to welcome everybody to the block party. Isaiah Amato handing out invitations, and so is Ben Gray. Get it out of here. Back and forth the entire game. We go to the fourth quarter, and that is Ben Gregg putting Clackamas up by four. Two minutes later, Darius Gakwazi puts the Rams up by two points. It came down to free throws, and the Cavs were clutch. Clackamas gets a big win on the road, 62-52. The girls playing in the early game, Central Catholic holding it down. You're not seeing double, folks. This is Alessandra Raimondo. Double three from the corner. Cavaliers trying to keep it close. Anna Henderson all net. But the Rams run away with this one, 67-43. Washington District Playoffs top-ranked Union beat Olympia 70-57 in Tacoma. They'll play Sumner on Wednesday. League rivals Battleground and Skyview facing each other tonight. A spot in the district semifinals on the line. The Battleground students, it's your time to shine because this was a great game. Caden Perry comes up big for the Tigers off the steal. It's Flex Friday. This game went to overtime and Skyview's Kyle Gruler with the drive and lay in tying the game late in overtime. That set the stage for the drama. Perry, Swarm, has to kick it out. Nate Millspaw misses the J, but the follow, Perry is the hero. Ball game, battleground, edges Skyview 69-67. They'll play Kentwood next week in the district semifinals. Let's head north to Prairie, the defending 3A champs, hosting Yelm in the district playoffs. The Prairie girls know how to get the party started and they didn't waste any time. Dana Vera, she's got range. And that was just the start for the Falcons. They were dropping threes all over the place. According to the Colombian, they knocked down 17 threes. Claire Heitschmidt, help us out. Prairie rolls over the Yelm Tornadoes, 81-37. Hudson's Bay also won tonight. The Falcons and Eagles will meet again next week in the district semis. Oregon's 6A champs are once again sitting on top of the PIL as they look to defend their title. The Benson Texters hosting Cleveland tonight. The Warriors fighting for a possible playoff spot. Right to it, Texters passing so fast it'll make your head spin. Ajay Yukon gets the bucket. And we're going to show you what the Warriors were up against. Closing moments of the first quarter, and that is Greta Baker with the J. And they can recover. Bria Dixon just pulls up from G. Benson buries Cleveland, 83-36. More hoops on the other side. Oh, we got more Friday night hoops. Your votes took us to the Three Rivers League. First place, Westland visiting third place, Tualatin. 
This is your Game of the Week. Give me something funky. Shout out to the Tualatin Band providing the soundtrack. And this was a grind early. Cassidy Jabernick doing work in the post. She gave the Timberwolves the lead in the first quarter. But Westland buckled down in the second. Audrey Roden is a certified zone buster. She was automatic from long range. Finished with 17 points and seven steals. The Lions supplied the pressure and cashed in on layups. This is just beautiful ball movement. And Aronette Vonley, the high percentage shot. She could not be stopped, dropped 16 points on him, and Westland gets the W, 57-33. Oregon City, the Pioneers and Camby Cougars fighting for playoff spots. And thank you to Erica Evans. This is a gem. Solo on the handshake. <laughs> Pre-game got me hyped. Camby strikes first. Allie Mead on the break to get the scoring started. Camby on top. But Oregon City delivers on D. Jalisa Lugo, the steal and the bucket. Oregon City defeats Camby 48-31. More Three Rivers League. The Westland boys add to Wallaton. We open things up in the third quarter. John Miller is a bad man. Coast to coast, the Euro step. Oh, that is smooth. Tualatin down three, but that's as close as they would get. Lions turning turnovers into points. Micah Garrett, too strong. Hoop and harm. Westland runs away with the victory, 69-51. We got more on the other side. Last stop for us, Jesuit visiting Sunset, the band playing the tune, and Kel Estep liking that rhythm, buries the three ball, but Jesuit gets out running. Roy Bond threading the needle to James Lang. How do you do that? But don't blink because Matt Livis steals the inbound pass and gets the bucket. Jesuit gets the dub on the road, <laughs> 75 to 58. Uh, feels good to get the dub. <laughs> Got to, man. That's not all either, is it? Ducks and Beavers playing tonight. Yeah, absolutely. The Ducks, a huge win at UCLA. That is big for the women because that is their only meeting, and they now have sole possession of first place all alone. Bad news for the Beavers who lose at USC. Hmm. It's a bummer for them because their uh, NCAA tournament host games in the first couple of rounds takes a big hit tonight so they're gonna need to find some wins and they still have Stanford and UCLA on the schedule so their work is cut out for them plus you can catch all of our highlights on YouTube we've got extended highlights from all of these games so don't just think we showed up and got a couple of highlights He's for you got it so all. much more got it all hey thanks for being with us this week we hope you have a fantastic Valentine's Day